Hey, it's Joseph with Ghostly Pixels. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to work with a scan of a watercolor uh, painting, an abstract watercolor background. So to follow along, you can download the exact watercolor that we're using in this video tutorial. There's a link directly beneath this video. So you can download that asset and follow along. Now we're going to take the watercolor background. We're going to put it into Photoshop. We're going to place it in our document and then we're going to adjust the colors to our liking. And then we're going to put some nicely legible text on top of that watercolor background. So go ahead and download the asset if you haven't already and let's go ahead and get started here. So in Photoshop, uh, I'm going to create a new document. I'm going to select the uh, print preset option here, the new document window. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select landscape and I have 300 pixels per inch. All right, let's create our new document. So here's our, uh, our empty uh, brand new document. And the first step is to go ahead and place the watercolor background into the document. So uh, if you don't have this file, again, there's a link beneath this video to download this file for free. So you can follow along. Uh, okay, so now I'm placing um, my asset here as a smart object in Photoshop. So I'm going to click on the shift, I'm sorry, I'm going to type on the shift key and hold shift while I drag this uh, a little bit larger here. And I can make this any size I want to. But for the example of this video, I'm going to just essentially cover my document. Now I'll click the accept icon there. Okay. Uh, so now we have this background smart object. But what if we want to change the color of this? Okay, uh, we can select the, uh, we can click. Okay, uh, real quick, let me back up. I have the layers palette, swatches palette, and character palette. Uh, you can access any of those via the window menu. So, all right, back on track. I'm going to add a new adjustment layer. So I'm going to click on the adjustment layer icon, and this is off your screen here. Um, but the hue and saturation option is what I'm going for from this drop down menu. Okay, so uh, I can now drag this, select any color of the rainbow, uh, really whatever I'm in the mood for. Uh, let's do uh, a blue. So there we go. Let's say I like that blue. I'm good to go. Uh, now, before we add the text layer, I want to do one more thing and I want to make this background look like it is a multi. Uh, color or multi I want to make it look like I've used more than one color of paint so I painted this by hand I use one color I want to make it look like I'm using multiple colors so I can type B on my keyboard or I can type or I'm sorry I can click on the brush icon and now from swatches uh, let's go ahead and um, uh, you know you, you can select any color you want to but I'm going with uh, with a lighter green color and you can adjust your brush size either by clicking here and adjusting your size or you can just type on your keyboard the right bracket key makes it larger, left bracket key makes it a little smaller. So uh, let me create a new layer before I start brushing this new color. All right, so now I can, oops, <laughs> it would help if I actually selected it. Okay, so I can start kind of painting here and there as I see fit. Okay, so now we have this, this new color added, but obviously that doesn't quite look right. We need to change the layer mode here. So in the layers palette, instead of normal, I want to select the color option right here, second from the bottom. Boom, so getting a lot closer. Um, doesn't quite look realistic to me uh, yet, so I'm actually going to drop the opacity of my brush tool and I'm going to paint a little more in here and there uh, just to add a little more uh, blend to these colors. Now I'm also going to drop my layer opacity a little bit. Uh, but there you have it. It's before and after. Now we have multicolor uh, watercolor background. Now I'm ready for the last step. Let me add a text layer. So I can either type T on my keyboard or I can click over here on the type tool and let me start typing. Um, but before I do that, let me go ahead and select white. Okay, so when I click on my document, that's automatically going to create a new 
uh, layer for me. So let me click, start typing. All right, so uh, the font I'm using here, it's actually called Old Elm. Uh, it is available for purchase. Uh, this is a font that I created by hand, and uh, there's a link beneath this video if you're interested. Uh, but of course, you can use any font you want. So now I will click uh, on the accept um, icon up here to accept that. But now to easily get this layer centered up, uh, I'm going to type via my keyboard, or you can click on the move tool. Now I will type command A to select everything on this layer. And I'm going to click the center align horizontal and the center align vertical. And I've easily centered up my text layer. So there you have it. I hope this video tutorial was helpful for you. And if you want more videos like this, subscribe to my newsletter. There's a link directly beneath the video. Uh, and you can subscribe on YouTube, of course, if you're watching on YouTube. Also, more tutorials, more freebies, more awesome stuff like this your way.